In this video, we'll be looking at some instances where cops decided to mess with the wrong people. Let's get started. A man was just standing and filming on a public sidewalk when cops approached him and demanded to see his ID. The police officers thought that they could just approach people like that in public and demand stuff and give unlawful orders. Maybe that worked in the past, but this time they ran into the wrong man because this guy wasn't scared of them. Quite the contrary. Actually, he completely owns them. I don't answer questions. No, I don't. I don't answer questions. Okay. Can you like step back? It's like you're in my personal space. No, you come up to me, asshole. So get back. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> He didn't want to give his ID, nor did he want to answer any of their questions. He was standing on a public sidewalk and filming, and he knew that it was his constitutional right protected by the First Amendment. Hey, get away from me, please. Because I have the business of being on, or on public sidewalk. Okay. So you can get away from me, first of all. Yeah, but not in my personal space. Yeah, I have to back up because you're in my personal space. Now you're like a foot away from me. Yes, I am. See, look at that, people. A foot. This fat ass is like, won't get away from me. The cops, or more specifically this cop that was questioning the guy, or at least was trying to, didn't like the fact that this guy knew his rights as he became quite used to giving unlawful orders without people questioning him. The knowledgeable citizen called the cop out because he was standing too close to him and urged him to step away from him. The cop tried to act all smart by saying that he had the right to stand on the public sidewalk, but the guy shot him off completely when he told him that he didn't have the right to be in his personal space. Yeah, I hope you are recording this shit because you are an asshole, so get away from me. Could you please back up, sir? I don't answer questions. What don't you understand from that? Since he realized that this cop was trying to abuse his power, the man requested his supervisor, to which the cop replied that he was the supervisor. Now that's quite surprising, don't you think? The man thought the same and told the cop that he didn't know his rights. The cop was trying to tell the man that he understood that he had rights, and the man just said that he didn't care about anything he had to say and added that he had the right to film whatever he could see in public. How about you go get your supervisor, first of all? I am the well, obviously, you don't know my rights. Yes, I do, sir. No, you, you have don't. The right of freedom of speech and you have the right to... I have the right to film anything I see in public. Yes, sir, but you have to understand it. As a... I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> what don't you get from that? I don't care what you have to say. Please take a, take a photo the next thing you know, the cop was trying to touch the man, but the man didn't let that slide and called him out on that immediately. To justify what he had just did, the cop asked the man if he had any weapons on him, to which the man just said that he hadn't done anything wrong and that he didn't have to answer any of his questions. Um, no. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I have not done anything long, wrong. I don't have to answer any questions that you are asking me of. I do not have to answer no questions. So do not touch me. As he was explaining his rights to this ignorant cop, a few other cops arrived at the scene, so the man told them to tell the officer to leave him alone. The cop then tried to make excuses for himself, saying that the man was filming people coming in and leaving. We're assuming that he was talking about coming in and leaving the police station. Whatever it was, this man had the full right to film it as long as he was standing on a public sidewalk. I have the right to be on this public sidewalk filming public areas of interest. Tell them guys to leave me alone because I'm on the sidewalk. I don't know. He's filming everybody leaving and coming. In the Is there anything wrong with that officer? The man then once again told the cop to get away from him and told him not to touch him, to which the cop said that he had the right to touch him. This statement took the man by surprise, so he had to lecture this dumb cop, saying that he didn't have the right to touch him unless he had committed a crime. Go, get away from me. Don't touch me. Sidewalk, huh? Yeah, and you don't have the right to touch me neither. Actually, yes, I do. No, you don't. Unless I committed a crime. Well, you have to you're taking I'm not committing a crime. Go away. I'm not committing a crime. Go away. I do this all the time. I'm not committing a crime. Her I'm not following her nowhere. I stayed on public sidewalk. Her I didn't call her no names. I didn't even talk to the dumbass. <laughs> no, it's not. I didn't even talk to her. So get away from me. Get away from me. Don't talk near, don't go near me.
The next thing you know, a few more cops showed up and one of them accused the man of harassing people. The man had to defend himself by saying that he didn't talk to anyone and told him that the first cop came up to him and started touching him. He also added that he would like to press charges. When they started harassing him about filming again, he told them that it was all perfectly legal. Charges, please. Yeah, because she called because I was filming her, which is legal, legal, legal. Yes, legal. The man also had to give them all free lessons in law, saying that he doesn't have to show him his ID unless he's suspected of committing a crime or was about to commit a crime. The cops really didn't have anything to say to that, so they changed the subject, typical, and asked the man what his purpose was, to which he said filming in public, and if he wanted to, he could also film in the public lobby. The cops were left confused and told the man that some people were complaining about him filming, to which he said that they could complain all they want as he wasn't doing anything illegal. Says I don't have to commit or have to show ID unless I commit a crime or about to commit a crime. So you don't want to provide any No, because I haven't, I haven't committed a crime. Well, what's your purpose out here? I'm filming in public. I can go in there if I wanted to into a public lobby and film too. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Homeland Security says I can. Would you like to see that memo? Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a, open to the public. But I can go in there too. We let them. I know I can go in there too. It says public lobby, which I'm the public. It doesn't matter. Y'all need to brush up on your law. I'm telling you now. Brush up on your law. I don't care what your sheriff says. He's a dumb shit. I know that for a fact. When he gets, when his election comes up, I'm voting. I'm gonna put all kinds of stuff out. <laughs> I'm not harassing nobody. They harassed me. He touched me. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I can film wherever I want. As long as it's on, no, I'm saying, as long as it's on private property or public property, yes. What's say again? How's it a complaint when you're in public filming? Well, they can complain all they want. Still, still can't trump my rights. In the end, he told them that they can't trump his rights on public property and they can't get him with trespassing and then they all did the walk of shame. My lord has been through this with I don't know how many people, <laughs> places. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot trump my rights on, pu on public property. You can't trust, you can't, basically you can't trespass on. Next up, we have an officer demanding that the man he pulled over roll his windows all the way down. The man didn't want to comply and wanted the cop to tell him the reason for the stop first. The cop wanted to do things his way instead of the right way, so he told the man that he would tell him the reason once he rolled down his window. Roll it down? Why do you pull me over? I'll tell you that if you roll it down. But if the cop thought he could do things his way, he ran into the wrong man as he wanted to know the reason right then and there, and the cop had no other choice but to tell him that reason, which was, wait for it, yelling at the officer. Why can't you tell me now? Because the reason I pulled you over is you're yelling something from the car. It seems like this cop hadn't heard about a little thing called freedom of speech. When the man confronted him about it, he just said that he wanted to know if he needed any help right. He then thought that just because the man was a foreigner that he was gonna fall for that. As we said, he chose the wrong man to mess with. So what? Huh? So what? That's why you pulled me over because I'm yelling. I don't know if you need help or anything. Oh, I don't need help. So, Thank you. Okay. Then the cop demanded to see the man's driver's license, and after a bit of back and forth, the man took out his license and put it on the window for the cop to see it. As you can imagine, that wasn't enough for this cop, which is why the man had to give him some free lessons in law. Let me see your driver's license real quick. I don't need it. Okay, you guys your driver's license? What for? Can you use the turn signal when you make a turn? Of course I did. Your you can hear the sound on the dash cam too. Let me see, let me see your driver's license. It's already cracked. I can't see that. Well, it doesn't matter. Here. I don't wish to answer questions. I did. When you demand identification, I have to display this. That's what they told me in the class, that's what the law says. The officer wants to take away. And actually, if I don't display, there's really not much you can do because there is no penalty attached to that. I have to carry this if I'm carrying this. Carrying? I don't answer questions. Okay, so if you have a weapon in the car, then what? 
the cop wanted to do things his way so desperately that he started making things up, asking a rhetorical question about him smelling alcohol in the car. You smell alcohol in your breath? No, you don't. How do I know? Because you can't smell my breath? I smell something coming Oh, out. really? Let's see. I don't think so. When the man completely destroyed his argument yet again, the cop wanted to know where he was coming from, to which the man just said that he doesn't answer questions and told the cop to let him know when he was free to leave. The man then wanted to know the name of the officer, but the officer didn't want to disclose that. You done with this? I'm done with that, yeah. All right, cool. Where are you coming from? I don't answer questions. I've already told you. Let me know when I'm free to go. Also, what is your name? Your name? Sheriff, that's your name? Sherry, right right I, I, I'm not familiar with the Eng English alphabet, sir. Then the man asked the cop if he could have an incident number or a ticket, and the cop told him not to leave the car because he had a weapon inside. Can I have, a, can I have an incident number, please? Oh, a ticket, a ticket. I don't want you exiting the vehicle because you have a weapon in the car. Did or I exit the vehicle? Did I exit the vehicle? Did I exit the vehicle? Did I exit the vehicle? Hey, can I? You do have a dash cam, right? Very good. You can't just pull me over because I said the police. I hope you realize that, stupid. The cop then wanted to see proof of insurance and the man showed it to him. The next thing you know, they were arguing about the address, which resulted in the cop asking some more questions and the man reminded him that he doesn't answer questions. I'm sorry? Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Yeah. Can you show it to me please? It doesn't come back. Of course it comes back. Not on my system, it doesn't. Also, it's not typical behavior for somebody to be yelling out of the vehicle. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Is that your current address? 1622? Is that a question? Yes, sir. Is that your current do address? I, do I answer questions? Okay, I'll just assume that's incorrect then. And why would you do that? Did you read my address on the driver's license? It didn't have an, address, didn't that, have an apartment number on your Of course license. it does. Let me see. Can you verify? You've already seen it. I've already complied with that part. I know. Okay, I'll be right back. When the officer returned, he started complaining about the man's behavior and gave him a ticket. The man requested a supervisor, but the officer just ignored that and told him that the stop was over and that he was free to leave. After a while, the man opened the car door just to confirm if the stop was indeed over and that he could go. We don't see that on camera, but the officer actually drew his weapon despite the fact that the man didn't exit his vehicle. The man just called him out on that and closed the door. I say that I've never met anybody quite like you that would uh, yell at an officer doing their job. But so have a great let me understand. No warnings, no fines, no Wait, may I ask you a question? Uh, this question's on there. There's the uh, address. Yeah, yeah there's no, the, I have a question. Can you get your supervisor right here, please? No, uh, is the stop over? The stop is over. You may leave. All right. I don't exit until I get out. Until I leave. Well, uh, you said the stop is over, right? Okay, I'm not. I'm not getting out. I will. Okay, there is no need to draw your weapon, man. Are you drawing your weapon? You I didn't get out of the car. You told me that already. Yeah. Did I get out of the car? Yourself. Here things got heated right from the start. A woman was about to drive away, but the cop didn't let her and then told her that she might go to jail because she hit his arm. She denied it, of course, and said that he struck his arm in her car, adding that it was all on video, to which the cop replied that he got it on his body cam too, and then he continued to harass her. Watch okay. out, we're leaving. Okay, you're not leaving. I am leaving. No, because no, you're not allowed to come back here. Stop the car. We're not you just hit me with the arrest. car? No, Are you no, being violent? Put it, put it, put it, put it on put I have it on the don't, 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 don't start, year, sir. Don't start, really. Now you're probably going to go to jail. Okay. Okay. Well, that's going to be okay. a big mistake on you your part. You just hit my arm. No, I didn't. You yes, stuck you your did. arm in my car. No. It's on video. We have it on video. We have it on my body cam. Okay. You stuck your arm in the car, okay? sir. Put the car in park. Oh, you show me up. The woman lost all her patience and asked the cop if she was under arrest. He said no, but told her that she was being detained. When she asked him why she was being detained, he said trespassing. She had a problem with that and told the other guy to call a lawyer on the phone. The cop then said he was picking a fight with the wrong person, to which the woman replied that he was actually doing just that. You guys why? got- No, they're not going anywhere. Because if you're not allowed back in the store, I've I done this many times. Okay, listen to me. We're, we're not going to come back in the store. We're not. You're being difficult. No. We're not coming back. Let, Let us go. Most aggressive. Let us go. Are you? No. Are my under arrest? No. Am I? Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Okay. What am I being detained? What crime am I being detained for? Trespassing. Sir? Trespassing. I, you're just now telling me I'm not allowed here. So how am I being detained for trespassing? Everybody's recording this, right? Yeah, go ahead. Record. Get the lawyer on the phone. Nobody, oh, nobody told oh, us to leave. Oh, you're picking the wrong fight with the wrong person. No, you are actually because we want to leave okay, peacefully. Okay, I said let's start over. We want to leave peacefully. Let us go. You can't we won't come peacefully. back here. Then move your hand. No. 
Then we can't leave. You're detaining me, sir. After a while, another cop showed up, and the first cop immediately complained to him that she hit his arm, but she shut him off completely by saying that he struck his arm and that she got it all on a video. I can, uh, hit my no, oh, please. Oh, his hand. We have another video. He stuck his hand in the car. I guess the moral of the story here is to always film the police because you never know what lies they're going to come up with. Anyway, the woman also explained that they were trying to leave when the cop approached them and tried to open her door. Then he told her that he was giving her a lawful order to stop her vehicle and accused her of being difficult. When she asked what crime she was being detained for, the other officer said that there was no crime and explained to them that they can protest on the public sidewalk but not in the store. They told him that they had no intention of coming back and just like that, they were free to leave. As it turns out, the first cop was making things difficult after all, not these people. Thank goodness for that other reasonable officer because if he hadn't approached them, they would probably end up in jail and the first cop would probably be fired because of it. He asked us to leave and we were trying to do it. Who was asking you to leave? You just got... No, no. Were they asking you to leave? That's why we're leaving. Okay. Thanks. And I was going to come and tell you the proper things that you needed to do if you want to do a protest, You came totally and started fine. grabbing my car door, trying to open my door. Because you were backing up when That's, I was giving you, you a lawful you, order to stop your vehicle. No, you, and you, you did not. Afterwards. We have no problem. Video. Have your lawyer take my body cam footage and they can take the whole thing. Because you're the one that's being a little difficult in the situation. We're just trying to leave. Okay. You're detaining we're me. I am lawfully. detaining you. You are unlawfully Okay, well then you can sue me. My name's Officer Vasquez. We're conducting an investigation, so we okay. can detain what you. Crime are you conduct... What crime are you investigating, sir? There's no crime. We're exactly. Okay, so we can leave so then. You can, you can leave then. Okay, so we can leave. leave then. And your officer is well, throwing his hand in the door. Because the sword doesn't want you back here. You can't protest. We're trying to leave. Uh, we're not coming, we're not coming back. back. We have no interest Listen, in coming we're back. We're just trying to leave. You can do whatever you want on the public sidewalk. Okay. You can't yeah, it's, a, I, it's a public store now, so we thought... No, it's a private store. Shop okay. Well, we're leaving. We didn't know that, so we're trying to leave. So you're allowed to do what you want on the public sidewalk. Okay. You can't do anything in the store. Got it. Okay? Perfect. Thank you, sir. Is that that hard? Have a nice no, day. Thank you. Not for you either. Okay. So this cop, a complete rookie or noob, thought he could just go around giving people unlawful orders. Unfortunately for him, he ran into the wrong man who absolutely owned him because of the simple fact that he knew the law better than him. The rookie cop was harassing the man about license plates on his RV, but the man told him that he had just bought it and offered to show him the receipt. But he soon changed his mind and realized that he had nothing to prove to this cop and told him that he was going to sue him instead. So the moment does have a, a license plate on it. Yeah, because we barely bought it. We got a bill of sale. You want to see it? It cannot be on the order. We just have license plate. Yes, it can. No, it okay, under the Supreme Court rule. Listen, under Supreme Court rule, learn the laws. Okay, let me get my shoes on. I'm going to educate you today, son. I'm fixing to educate you today, son. Give me my shoes. Give my shoes so I can go out there and educate this this guy. Those are my shoes. No, those are my, I can't even, those are your shoes. All right, where's my hat? Let's educate this guy right here. Supreme, Supreme Court ruling saying I have the right to freely travel in America without being stopped, molested, and I don't have to pay to have registration with me. Okay. I will show you this right now. Would you like to see it, sir? A Supreme Court ruling already on this no, already. I, I, no, okay, then, then you need to leave then. No, I do not need to leave, actually, so no, I do not. So, all right, this has happened, Chris. You bought this, this right? I just barely bought it yesterday, okay? Can I see that bill of sale? You want to see a bill of sale? Yeah. Yeah. Babe, get the bill of sale. Yeah, and then what I have to prove to you that? I don't got to prove nothing to you, bro. I don't have to help you do nothing. Bye. Okay. All right, all right, Chris. This if you're going to try to, I, I guarantee right, you, I will Chris, sue you. What's going to happen? You're going to listen to me, right? Hey, no, I don't got to listen to you. Okay. You listen to me. You work for me. He went on to educate the cop and told him that the Supreme Court had already ruled that you don't need license, registration, or proof of insurance. Okay. Listen. Yes, you do. All right, cool. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. You don't want to make a mistake. Qualified immunity is no longer here. I want you to know that. Oh, I'm, I'm letting you know that right I'm now. Here. Okay? And I'm trying to tell you right now, you need to study the law before mm -hmm. you come and try to tell me law. Okay. Because you don't know this law. Okay. okay? Look up. Supreme Court has already ruling. You do not need a driver's license. Okay. You do not need insurance. You do not need registration. Ruled by Supreme Court. It's over all the other. It's already been ruled. They can't take it back. Right, Look it up. Let me show you. Do you want me to show you? Do you I want me to show you? I the bill of sale, actually. Look, I'm going to show you this, the Supreme Court because no, you don't need I to don't see want nothing. To see that. Yes. I, no, no, I don't. So no, you no, need no, to see no, this no, in order to try to push a law. Look, in order to push a law, in order, no, 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 listen. No, no, listen. 
So you're, you're going to get cited, Chris, all right? The cop was trying to argue the whole time, which is why the man said that he was going to call his lawyer and that he was going to lose his job because he was going to sue him. He also told him not to cross the line and offered to show him the Supreme Court ruling, but the cop told him that he didn't want to listen to that. I wonder why. In order to push a law, in order to... No, 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 listen. Get no, no, you listen. Said this is yours. So you're, Listen, you're gonna get cited, Chris, all right? Okay, if you assign me, I, I promise you, I will call my lawyer right now. You call your lawyer and right you now, will lose right? your job. I will sue you, bro. Okay. That's Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Do if not you cross that line, if sir. If you wanna sue me, that's fine. Hey, so listen, I'm telling you. You're, you're gonna get cited. Call Adam Flores right now. Call, yeah, whoever. Call Adam. Okay. Do you really think so, sir? Do you really think so? Look, I'm, try, try, I'm trying to help you, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Okay. You do not want to cross that line. I'm trying to tell you. Look, look under Supreme Court. Baby, have me your phone. Have me your phone right now. Let me show this guy the Supreme Court ruling on this because you cannot push a law. You, you... Let, me, let, let me show him right now. So this guy will be educated today. Okay. So I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm going to educate you. I'm okay. going to stop. Let me I'm educate you. you. I'm not look, gonna look, look. Here. I'm, I'm not going to listen to this. No, I'm you're going to listen to this. You know what? You're not doing shit. Because listen. Get out of my way, Chris. No. Do not block my way. I can stop. I can walk anywhere I want, brother. Okay. The man was trying to read him the Supreme Court ruling, but the cop was doing his best to avoid listening to that, and he just kept wandering around, supposedly looking for the receipt of sale, despite the man telling him that he wasn't going to find it there. We could then hear the man threatening to sue the cop again. I can walk in. Look, look at this. Supreme Court ruling. What are you trying to look for? I'm looking for a bimbo. Well, you don't need to look at shit, bro. You can't see nothing on my... <laughs> You're not going to see nothing on my... Bro. All right. Okay, now I'm going to show you right now, so you will be educated, senior. <laughs> Hey, you sir, don't, don't, I, 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 hey. Don't run up on me, bro. I'm not running up on you. And I, hey, 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 you don't make a mistake. You don't make a mistake. I'm trying to tell you right now. You're making a mistake. You will be sued. I'm, I'm video recording you. And you will see. I know. And you will see where you're making the mistake. I'm telling you. Here. Here, start recording this guy because he could be educated. You don't got any phone here. I got the I got the papers right here. Hey, where's the VIN on the vehicle? Don't worry about that. Okay. So your business. Don't worry about that. It, it, you cannot, and I don't give no consent to searches. Hey, babe, come over here. Start recording this guy. Here we go. Right here. L O. My lawyer is gonna love you, bro. Okay. I promise you that. Cause look at this. Let me show you right now before you before you make the mistake. I'm yeah. trying to help you, Mr. Martinez. I, I don't want to. I'm trying to help you. To I, I'm, so hey, I listen. Know. I'm what? trying to help you because you are going to be sued. The next thing you know, the cop was asking the man to get his RV off the road, but the man didn't want to do that as it was a public road and just continued to educate him. The cop kept interrupting him because he didn't want the man to prove that he was right. Instead of listening to this knowledgeable citizen and getting some free education about law, he tried to talk to the man's partner. Can you get this vehicle off the road? Can you get this vehicle off the road? Is that a request? I'm asking you. No, because it's a public road. I'm allowed to have my road. Look. Under it's Supreme a, Court ruling, are, look, are, are you look, so look, look, listen, listen, I want you to know this, okay? I want you to know this because mm -hmm. this is very important for your career. Okay. I don't want you to make a mistake. I'm trying to help you, yeah, I got okay? You. you need to be educated on the law before you try to say anything about anything. You need to stop and be educated, yeah. okay? Because I don't want to have to sue you. I do not okay. want to sue you. I've already got it. I already got one lawsuit with Eddie County Sheriff's Department. If you don't believe me, and it's already going to be one. Look, Chris, I don't care what you do no, with Eddie County. Look, I'm I telling I, you right now, to for your little today. CSO ass, no. check this out. Okay, okay. Right, okay. look, I'm look, look, look. No, I'm done talking to you, Chris. Yeah, I'm done, I don't I'm care. Done. Well, you better bring an officer then. <laughs> no, we already got one on the way. That's good. Okay, look, what's your emergency? And how can I help you? Sir, I right, expect you. One is not an emergency. Right, okay, then you don't need to be. In. Okay, you already. Wait, okay, what's your articulately suspicious you facts? Yeah, I let you talk. Saying that I could. You let me. Okay, then that, that's what I'm going to talk to you. You're good. I need to talk to you. Okay, look. Under the Supreme Court ruling. Hey, that's not her ride. She has nothing to do it. Don't answer questions. You don't answer questions. All right, just a minute. Okay. All right. So this she don't answer questions. You have a car line goes from your house to the motorhome. Yeah. His motorhome doesn't have a pay line. It don't matter. Now, regardless of what Chris says. Regardless of what I say. It's just a In the end, another officer showed up and the man complained to him about the first cop, explaining to him that he hadn't done anything wrong and that he didn't have to answer any of his questions nor show him anything because he hadn't broken any law. Okay, You're dismissed. Okay. You're dismissed. Hey, how you doing, sir? You need to get this guy out of here right now. This guy is a very rude guy. He's trying to act like you guys. He, he tried to. He tried to be authority over me. Okay, I'm gonna try to educate this guy. He does not want to listen. He's gonna be arguing with me. 
I don't have to prove him nothing. I don't got to show him nothing. I don't got to answer his damn questions. He needs to get off and go. I'm not broken no law. I ain't breaking no law. I'm sitting here, just sitting right here. We just ready to pull up the mobile home. Okay. okay. And I don't got to answer no more questions. You're dismissed.